Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you different check of building by using etabs and uh, with the help of Excel file. And in this video, I will show you about torsional ir irregularity check. And uh, in my previous video, I have shown you here P delta check, base shear check drift and soil limitation i mean displaced limitation and soft story in x and y direction check and in this video i will show you about torsional irregularity check and this check is very important for design a building because uh, without torsional irregularity check our building can be irregular so let's start first of all we'll open our excel file and from here we'll know about our torsional irregularity what is torsional irregularity to be considered for rigid floor diaphragm when the maximum stray drip as shown in figure 6.2.72 computed building accidental torsion at one end of the structure is more than 1.2 times average i mean maximum and minimum by two i will explain that in our uh, it has building of the a story drift at two end of the structure if del max greater than on per 1.4 times of del average then the irregularity is termed as extreme irregularity i mean torsional irregularity so to determine that i have from the excel file so from here you will be able to know about our torsional irregularity so here you are seeing that the lateral load case for qx qy i mean earthquake x earthquake y wind load x and wind load y and reaction for x y x y for that direction we'll find our for that load and that direction we'll find our torsional irregularity so only we need two value del maximum and del minimum now what is that so to understand that we have to go our excel and uh, from here i will open my previous model here is my previous model here is the previous model and uh, i hope you all know about that and if you don't know about this model you can watch my previous video the all link are given in description and almost uh, 26 video are available about basic to advanced level of, of etaps so first of all we'll run that building for analysis so run and stay with me till last because uh, at last I will give you the suggestion that how we'll find that excel file from me so from here we have to find out our maximum from here maximum del maximum del minimum so what is that the we, we as an engineer we know that the del actually represent the di displacement so from here we'll go plan view and we'll not consider that floor because it is only for on floor so we'll consider f4 click ok here suppose the wind are coming in that direction i mean in x direction from here to here in that direction wind are coming in that direction or earthquake load are coming in that direction so for that direction of earthquake load if we go down uh, sorry if we go here so we'll find it for that direction of earthquake load 
will found a displacement on here and on here for that point and for that point but this for dead load we have to select for lateral load so here we will found that the maximum displacement in x direction cause the load are coming as x direction so that's why we will find here and here two value so the maximum displacement value will be del x and minimum value will be del minimum and if the lateral load are come from are coming from y direction then from that point and from that point we have to find out our maximum and minimum value so go here for deform shape from here case and from here we'll find out qx first of all qx then qy then we'll go wx and wy first of all qx then apply okay so for qx we're seeing that the building have displaced much more so from as uh, the load are coming from that point i mean from that direction so you have to find out the maximum and minimum value from that two point to in point of the building so here we are seeing that ux we are seeing that ux or ux value are 1.155 and here we are seeing that the ux is 1.266 so it's clear to you that our del maximum is 1.266 and our del maximum is 1. Point here 1.155 is the del minimum and here is the del maximum so we have to input the two value so we'll go here in here you are seeing that here del maximum del max and here del minimum so already i have put that value previously so here is the value and for that value we are seeing that our here we are seeing that for that value our building are showing that the our building are regular and also for extreme irregularity it's also regular our building is not irregular or is extreme irregular so again we'll go to e tabs and we'll load apply in y direction for earthquake load q y apply sorry sorry um, here q y apply okay and here we are seeing that for as the load are coming in that direction cause from here if you see here here this is the y direction and this is the x direction and um, if we apply load in y direction so that will be the one point and at, that will be the another point so from that two point we have to find out our value so from here we are seeing that in uy the value are 1.14194 on, on here you are seeing that uy and from here you are seeing that it's 1.1704 so we have to find input that two value for y direction so here qy from here we have to put that two value so let's again go here this is the maximum value 1.17 go here for del maximum 1.17 for qy and go here for here it's 1.141 here 1.141 enter and it's also showing that our building are regular both are showing regular cause here average average deformation 1.155 it's average and here is the maximum and average ratio is less than 
2.5 here we have seen that here it should be less than 2.5 and if it's more than 2.5 then the building is irregular again now we'll go for win load so again click here and from here we'll select qx apply so for qx from here we'll see that here it's showing that ux equal to 1.007 and for that point ux equal to 1.08 so this is the maximum del max and here is the del minimum here is the 1.08 1.08 and here is the 1.007 and also we are seeing that this is also regular building and last we have one wi here for wi we'll again go here use wi i mean we we'll load in y direction so from here we'll see that here ui equal to 1.199 and for that point we are seeing that ui equal to 1.02 i mean this is the maximum point 1.199 so we'll go to excel and here we'll input 1.199 and for that point we'll again go here 1.02 here 1.02 enter and here we're seeing that our building are showing that for a b for it's showing regular and uh, when our building is irregular that should be considered but it shouldn't be extreme irregular so it's showing that for all check in our previous all check is showing that our that building are okay to design this is okay to design and uh, if you're watching my serial i mean watching my tutorial serial then you know about that building so now we're ready to design our building because every check it's a pass so in next video i'll show you about the design criteria and uh, for detailing i will start for that and uh, after that we'll design our slab and foundation in safe 2016 safe 2016 and building and, and uh, another frames like column and beam will design here so thank you thank you very much it's still it's still connected and uh, sorry one thing if you need that file and uh, this file is applicable for ASCE 7 0 5 7 10 and also for BNBC 2017 and if you need that file you can mail me or comment me below and don't forget to press the like button if you think that this video is helpful for you and if you press the like button i will understand that that was helpful for you so thank you thank you very much